Hello! Welcome back! Oh, sorry, I, uh, I just took my anxiety medication, so I'm a little coffee. <coughs> sorry. Ugh. We're back! Uh, we just killed... Something. Blue dragon wannabe fish. I like the <coughs> chest. Also, we're, about go, a... we're about to go meet the blue dragon. <laughs> I remember when I put the apple sticker on the TV? Yeah. It's still there. Really? Holy cow. <coughs> it's been oh gosh. Months. <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. Probably should have taken longer than 10 minutes, huh? Okay. Check the thing. Yeah. The guy that, that was a hippie. Yeah, he's the surfer dude. Cool. <laughs> okay, hold on. How do I do a Californian accent? Uh, I've never heard a Californian speak <laughs> in real life ever. I I know Valley Girl speak. But that's the best I got. Yeah, I do Valley Girl. Blue Dragon's a girl. <laughs> hey mom, you want to do the voice the Blue Dragon? Are we guess are we guest starring Boss Lady as Blue Dragon this episode? Do I need to do? Good thing blue is my favorite color and dragons are one of my favorite mythical animals. Great, speak. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <clears throat> I'm not doing California Girl, but I'll do something. Alright. <clears throat> Yawn. Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Yawn. Jesus, could you? This is your debut you for this it. series. Okay, I don't like that one. Do you not want to mail it in? I don't want to actually yawn, okay? You could have. Jesus, phone it in. Oh god, man. no. I'm just... <laughs> See? <laughs> I hate that word. <clears throat> oh man. Every time I'm having a cold dream. Some Tomb Raiden human wakes me up. Raiden. Now that one sounds like really bad. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> hey! Hold on! You're not an adventurer! You're Lucia, the child of the blue star. Damn right! <laughs> and if you're here, that means. It means I'm going back to sleep pretending I never saw you. Good night. You <laughs> wake your lazy ass up! <sighs> no, no, this can't right! This is no dream, Blue Dragon of Althea. Yes, it is. I've come from the Blue Star to awaken you. I don't Get hear the you. fuck up. <laughs> no. Jesus, it's like real life. Honestly. I was afraid you say that. Well, what's happened in this world since I started snoozing? So Should you be want a list? <laughs> Zophar has been revived. Zophar? Wait, hang on. Hang on. That was more... There was more to that thought. My brain just stopped working. <laughs> Give me a second. Look at that vacant stare. <laughs> so far has been revived, Blue Dragon, and he wants to enslave the universe. Oh, not lovely. We're what? all fucked. So what else is new? So you need me to... So Take you need back. me and the other dragons to free Althea for her, from her bonds. Yeah. yeah, almost got there! So together you can return Zophar to his magical prison. Zophar! <laughs> Zophar! It, it's pronounced so far. So far. So far. Why didn't you tell me that? I did. He, I, <laughs> he, I said it. He literally did. I said it before you talk. So far. So far. So far. You know I'm like only. It's okay. I know you. You only. Have it's my ADHD. Minutes. I'm sorry. I didn't I hear you the first it's time. Okay. It's okay. It's all right to fuck up. That's what this is. It's Why just. Why did they you though? Yes. I'm. Yes. We are still gonna. We are still gonna bust your ass. I know. But it's 100% fine. You are correct, Blue Dragon. As a child of Athena, it is your duty to aid me. Duty. <laughs> I know that, Lucia. But we dragons were also charged with protecting this world. Yeah, and he's waking up on this world. <laughs> you see the problem here? I still don't know how that's my problem. <laughs> and if you use Althea's power, Althea's power, and how to pronounce it. <laughs> And if you use Althea's power to seal up Zophar, the world... You've been sleeping for Did a while. Did you put quotation marks around Zophar while you were speaking? <laughs> They're oh, wow. all... I'm suddenly very angry! <laughs> Silence! You should know not to speak of such matters in the presence of humans! You keep your mouth shut! Oh, whoops. Sorry about that, Lucia. 
I tend to ramble if you haven't already noticed. No shit! I don't know what's going on to them too good time. Dragon Roar! Roar! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody else is just like, Jesus, Lucy, yes. you can't talk to a dragon like that. She's like, shut your goddamn mouth! <laughs> and we're just like slowly backing up. <laughs> Lucy is scary now. <laughs> anyway, I will do everything in my power to aid you. Do you accept my pledge of loyalty? No! Of course, blue dragon. Ow. Thank you for your pledge. On your knees, bitch. I feel like you like black brown them in this. Just check one of my scales instead. Here, let me like just, just claw this out here. I'm gonna summon you every five minutes just to <laughs> piss you off. I would say that's unexpected, but that would be a lie. The next dragon on your list should be the black dragon. She is a sanctuary to the south. I am supposed to be a the female. The black dragon is a girl in this game? I did not remember that. I've been talking well, in a male voice this whole time. I told you the blue dragon was a girl. He I know. Did. I know. That's At the end of Lunar 1, the black dragon must have died because it was that, a male. I thought that was my idea. Oh, that sucks. He's literally told all their body parts dead. Oh, yeah, I guess so, huh? I guess it wasn't called the grindery for nothing. Jesus Wow. <laughs> Oh, that got worse. Oh, you want help? We're, I'm gonna push the button. Yeah, please. Hey, up, please. hey mom, it's you again. Oh, that's so sad. What am I doing with this? I don't know, it's yours now. Okay. I'm gonna keep with the male voice just because I already have it, so. We'll meet again when you're revived, all four dragons. Now then, I'm going back to sleep. I'm Get the wake, fuck out of my lair. I'm gonna wake you up as soon as we leave. Peace out. The blue dragon's definitely informal, isn't he? I guess it is a boy. Huh? Yeah, right. I'm really confused here. <laughs> <laughs> why am I? Why am I? Why am I getting so tripped up about the gender of a fictional animal? <laughs> what has the internet done? <laughs> All right, we're moving on. I just hope he gets a little more serious when we need his power to free the goddess. Oh my god, dragon, I'm gonna be the one that does nothing but eat fish, probably. If I remember, Ruby, you look awesome as a dragon. Haha, <laughs> I win. Wait, no, that's wrong. <laughs> Ronfar, are you drunk again? <laughs> I may really. It's been a long day. We've been in this cave for like six hours, dude. I need to eat something. See, he agrees with me. Should we, like, cut Lucy in? She's a fish. I am not a fish! You literally just said you were a fish earlier. Did you see the way I made that dragon cower? You respect, bitch. Roar! Yeah, dragon spear fish, apparently. Fish and women. <laughs> I thought I already said the significance of being one of the four dragons. But I was wrong. I don't think I understand what it meant until this moment. Now I'm trying to think like a dragon would. I don't think. I think I'm thinking. But probably not. You know what? What? It makes sense that they tied Ruby and Ronfar together the way they did. Because she's a red dragon? And that's Mari's thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I made that connection. Cause that's, why, that's why I said, is he in, is Ronfar in in the red dragon's yeah. tower because of his connection with Ruby? Yeah, like, but no. It's, but episodes. it's not. It wasn't because of his connection with Ruby. It was because of his connection with Mari. But it's connected to Ruby. But yeah, she is the bridge to Ruby. And I... God... I was dumb when I was a kid. <laughs> I was... I never put that together. Alright, there's talking. I remember there's talking in this cutscene. Yippee. Oh, cutscene. That means we don't have to talk. I'm on the wrong side of the river. I wonder if that's gonna matter. Guess what that is. Neovane. Yeah, that's Neovane. It doesn't look more mechanical than it used to be. Don't like that. They did do a good job of making it look ominous. The bats are a nice touch. I oh, love, yeah. I love that it just darkens the sky. Because Vane's introduction was very majestic yeah. in Lunar 1. It's like, look at this. It's definitely a holy island. place. Yeah, it's like, this is a sacred place where awesome magical shit happens. And now here we are. Oh, yeah, and now this is just, this is just Dracula's castle from... Uh, uh, Castlevania, yes. Yeah, Castlevania. <laughs> What the? Oh, wait, we moved. Did you guys see what I see? I can't believe this. Pinch me, because I must be dreaming. I've never seen anything like that in my life. 
Yeah. I'll take a rain check on that punch. I don't trust If you touch me, I will break your arm. That's why I'm taking a rain check. Did you not hear what I just said? Since Athena is no longer powering this world, how do they have such magic as to levitate an entire city? It's just as they described in the legends. A magic city, a magical city, whatever, floating in the sky. Neo Bane. That's such bullshit. Yeah, well... Oh god! Oh my god! Well, it's fun! I think there might be a problem, Hero. I don't know what you're talking about. This is perfectly normal. What's going on? The destiny can't move. This... this magic. It's using the power of the Black Dragon. Which means that that floating city must also be drawing upon its power. Shit! Why did the Black Dragon know Daruk's protection? Would that be Daruk's protection? Because that prevents things from getting in, not out. Like, I can walk through this. Just fine. Then you have Daruk's protection. Because he can't. Nothing can hit you if you're using it. But you can take it off and walk. With it. it would be like an inverted Daruk's protection, though, because it protects things from getting in to what's in the shield. That shield prevented things from getting out. Like, I could walk through it. Yeah. I, I feel like neither of us are fully grasping what the other's saying. Are we idiots? <laughs> Is that what's happening here? I think so. I think it might be. I think we're both kind of idiots, too. <laughs> that makes for that makes for really good content, but terrible conversations. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I hate these sons of bitches. They look like something out like an old Mickey Mouse cartoon. They blow up like shit from an old Mickey Mouse cartoon. <laughs> I. I hate these guys so much. <laughs> yeah, I like the little guy in the back right now. Him. Looks so dumb. The one that's just standing there or the one that's bouncing? <laughs> the one that's standing there. Uh, yeah, because he's, he's just kind of like, what are we doing? <laughs> What's happening, guys? How is fire not a good option against a bomb? It's going to explode faster. That's fair. There's still water on it, I'm probably fine. If any of us had water magic, that'd be a great idea. I Why does Lucy not have water magic? I hate that they're so fast. Ferocious wind! Okay, so yeah. The th I, I wanted to talk about this last episode, but we were really distracted last episode. Um, starting, I don't know, probably not in the next three to four episodes. Probably. I'm going to predict the future. Did I set the timer? Did you set the timer? I think I did, but I don't remember. I did not. Please say you did. Oh no. It's only been 15 minutes, it's fine. Yeah, we're alright. So, uh, I have noticed uh, that some. Boy, I don't know. I don't know how to word this, because I don't know how our magic man is working his magic with these episodes quite yet. Yeah. But, on my end, I have noticed that there has been, like, a lot of audio stuff on the game. And I think it's just the way my computer is running it, but I found a solution. Um... Hang on. That sounded too, uh, too sure. I found a possible solution that we're going to try. I just have to, uh, make it work. And replay it all the way up to here. Yeah, that's... That's the other thing I have to do, but that won't take me as long, because yeah. I can I can do that during downtime during the week. Also, also, uh... We are changing our recording schedule a little bit. Things are going to be a little different 
Um, would you, would you like to, as you shove an entire, an entire Oreo in your mouth, staring me dead in the eye, as I'm trying to ask you if you would like to tell the story. I didn't know you were going to talk to me. I know, I'm sorry. I just, I happened to look over, and I guess your brain was like, look at him. And, uh, we just happened to look at each other at exactly the right time. And, uh, at that moment, your brain was just like, put the whole Oreo in your mouth. I can't let him take it. <laughs> Steal my Oreo. I licked it. It's mine now. I can't get in it. In all open. fairness, everyone else is taking your stuff or two. Honestly. <laughs> so you're just like looking at it down, like, nope. That was. Oh, mine. That was hilarious. Ah. Well, it's I'm supposed to be playing. At least I'm oh, not the only our, one who can't open those fucking figs. Our new recording schedule and, uh,. Our new plans for would Sunday. You like one for your, uh, yeah, I do. Thing. Give it to me. <laughs> I would love to have one of those, but I would hate myself later. They're not I crunchy. Can't. I know, but they they stick. Oh yeah. I can't. I really love those too. <laughs> one of the things I can't eat anymore. Yeah. And it makes me sad. Brush your goddamn <laughs> teeth. <laughs> you like glared at the microphone to see else. <laughs> I I am serious, guys. Brush your goddamn teeth. God, my one regret in life is letting my mouth go to fucking waste. I have the mouth of a Komodo dragon. It's <laughs> full of bacteria and gross shit. Take care of your teeth, man. As I swig another delicious mouthful of Folgers Black Silk Coffee. There's my plug for this episode. We're getting it out of the way. I should probably push a button. I haven't done that in a little while. Oh, yeah. Are you sure about that? Probably. So yeah, recording schedule. Yeah, talk about our recording schedule. Uh, instead of recording any, every second we have free time because we want to play this game really bad, we are uh, treating Saturday as a uh, work day, work day. I'm, the second everyone's up, and by that we mean 9 o'clock, everyone's not awake, we're gonna start screaming to get everyone up, and, uh, recording for us today. Did I do it? Is that yeah. comprehensive? Uh, yeah, that was, that was good. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna start treating our Saturdays like it's a, just a day at the office. We're gonna get up by, by 9 a.m. We're gonna start recording. That's a threat. Yeah, I look. I look directly at the boss. Hey, oh, I get up in the during the week. To be, early. To be it's fair, it's Saturday. To be fair, to be fair, she has been getting up every morning to make sure Ellie gets to school. Without fail, she has been getting up super early every morning to get Ellie off to school. She has not missed a day yet. In her defense, it is Saturday though. But yeah, it is it is Saturday. I get to sleep and in on Sundays, dang it. Yes, Sundays is fine because on Sundays Okay, back to Saturday though. We'll get to Sunday. Back to Saturday. And then we're just gonna record until the kid is like, hey, I'm done. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. Or you keep hacking up like that. Yeah, there is another distressed cat outside of our room. And then on Sundays Sundays there is a Oh, are, are we really letting her in here? Are we not? Taya, yeah. I, I'm literally sitting on a balloon. She's not solo though. She's not that already. No, Melly's out there. Alright, so you were saying about Saturday? Hang on. Oh. Pause the episode for a couple minutes. We're gonna it's figure out. Really... We gotta figure out this cat thing. Right, we're back. On Sunday. Uh, there is a possibility that. Uh, we, and by we, I mean me and the big one, yes. possibly boss lady, if she is free on Sundays, um, are going to be taking lessons from a voice coach. So we can increase the range of the voices that we can do. 
I'm still maybe. waiting to hear back from them. Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a possibility. So Sundays we're gonna use to improve yeah. what we do on Saturdays and then we can practice throughout the week. And then our next recording session will have new voices and better voices. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah, that's, the control first. that's the idea. It's gonna it's gonna take a little while. We're gonna have to put the work in. But that's our game plan for the foreseeable future. At least at least probably until you finish high school. Yeah. So for the next couple of years, that's kinda how I wanna do this. A little adventure we're on. Fuck Lamina die. I know. See, this is why I hate these things being so fast. Because you get a group of them. Yeah. And then they outspeed oh, literally everyone on the team. Holy crap, what was that? Oh, that's you, right? Yeah, that's me. Okay. That's Hero taking a gigantic fart. <laughs> that's like I've been holding this in since we got, since we left Vane. I gotta let it go. Our fart joke's still funny. I love fart. I love fart jokes. That's why I love the Game Grumps, man. I'm, I, fart jokes will always be funny. I don't care. I don't care if I'm 98 years old. <laughs> I'm gonna be sitting in my hovercraft wheelchair. God, I hope we have fucking oh, hovercraft so. wheelchairs in 40 years. Anyway, I'm gonna be sitting in my wheelchair and I'm just gonna lean forward a little bit and just let one rip. <laughs> and then I'm gonna settle back into my cushioned wheelchair and I'm just gonna giggle. Because farts are always going to be funny. And if you don't laugh at farts, what joy do you have in life? <laughs> Seriously, like, what kind of an existence do you lead that makes you so miserable? You, you, like might have, you might have just heard the cat breathing into the microphone because she was super into it for a minute. <laughs> But what kind of an existence do you lead that you are so detached from fart, jokes. from fart jokes that you don't find them funny anymore? What what do you have to take so seriously that you can't laugh at a good fart joke? My, one of my work friends posted that. Sorry. That's a good work tip. I look for I look forward to the day that we can do that. Yeah, yeah. If that day ever comes. <laughs> Yawning them down at the same time. I think she's been down just the back. She, yeah. She's been the only cat who's really been in here. Yeah. Hey. She's probably. She, yeah, she can. What She smells like food, though. Oh, well, yeah. That's all right. I'm just grinding my way through this dungeon, and I'm kind of lost because I forget what floor I'm on. Boy, I am really not good at this whole keep a conversation going and play a video game thing. Yeah. It's gonna be so much better when you have the controller. I really hope the comment section goes for that. Did I come in here? That looks like it's going up. Do I need to go up? This is a mine though, right? I imagine I need to go down. You know what? Let's go up and see if I've been there. Actually, Tammy, I think it's had the most practice because of all those uh, things with Zelda. Yeah, the only time I credit oh. was during That's some of the- That's the fucking beginning. Wasn't it during like the Shit. test or something? That you mean, you like, shut up! <laughs> uh, yeah, usually. So I have to concentrate doing this. But I think the only time I, I couldn't play the game uh, while I was I talking- I did, I just respawned everything. Rip. That's all right. We can fast forward through this bit. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how terrible the day is. Like the end of the day, every day, almost almost universally every day, the end of the day we're watching Game Drum. And it just it just just puts me in a good mood. I love them. They're silly. They're they're good comedians too. <laughs> Direct line to my funny bone. Which is not a bone. No. You guys seen 
I, that's, that's kind of weird. Like, we call it my bone, that's not bone. I do call it my bone. To be fair, none of the things that we call bones are actually called bones. They all have, like, a really specific name. <laughs> and it's Latin, I think. Probably. Most of those things are either Latin or Greek. I don't know, I don't know anything about biology. I know, I know we work, and that's about, that's about the extent of my biological knowledge. I know we work, and I know what to look for when we stop working. <laughs> God. I know I haven't been in this dungeon that long. It, it, doesn't, forever. it doesn't help that I respawned the first floor, because I got lost and I'm an idiot. Yeah. But, uh... Boy, I'm really... I'm, I'm really not feeling this dungeon. <laughs> Probably we another dungeon anyway, so we just finished one. Yeah. Well, the whole Neo Bane thing just kind of sets me on edge. Mm -hmm. No, I think it's the environment. No? Nope. Ah, Serena's like my foot. Serena, baby. That's super gross, cat. <laughs> we gotta, we gotta, we gotta talk about this. Her attachment issues to your skin is worrying. <laughs> In fact, it's only my skin. <laughs> it concerns me a bit. Maybe. Okay. It's like we look away and she pulls out a bib and a tiny knife and fork. <laughs> Little table with salt and pepper on it. Let's go. It's dinner time. Is that Gohan or Frieza? Or Vegeta, I mean. Kyle, I'm gonna do this. Not Vegeta. Small and angry he is. That's Vegeta. <laughs> Small and angry. You know, that's a that's another. Oh. Boy, this is this this whole audio bit is just gonna be uh it's just gonna be me singing the praises of other more successful things. <laughs> yeah. But uh, Team Four Stars, Dragon Ball Z Abridged. We've we've talked about it before. Man, that shit has ruined. Oh yeah. Regular Dragon Ball Z for me. Ruined in the best way possible. Man, oh. Man, I can't. I can't even watch regular Dragon Ball Z anymore. If I'm like, I want to watch DBZ, I'm specifically referring Stupid. to a bridge. It is, it is my go-to for Dragon Ball Z. Go! I mean, it's like, buff, bear. <laughs> it's so good. It's so funny. Oh my god. I absolutely adore it. I used to, uh, I used to cook uh, at a no longer in business bar in the college town next door. The bar was called the Good Old Days. I used to cook there. I did it for a long time. I mean, long time. A long, a, a long, a long period of time for me is anything longer than a year. Okay, I was there for like two and a half. And I loved it. Uh, best job I ever had. Because it was just me in the kitchen. I was the cook. I was the dishwasher. I was the prep cook. I was the sous chef. I, I was everything. I did everything. And granted, it was just bar food. It was like burgers and wings and grilled cheese and french fries. It was like... And lava cakes. Lava cakes. Churros. Yeah, churros. Cheese steaks. It was simple stuff, Rubens. right? Yeah, Reuben. I think I think the Reuben was actually the most complicated thing to make on the menu. And that was always what I ordered from you. Yeah, and that was always what you order every time you come there is the Reuben, and I fucking hated it. But with the pros of having a family, I had the fried pickles. And I fucking hated those too. <laughs> you should not deep fry pickles. And I'm sorry, anybody who likes deep fried pickles, boss lady, this includes you. Okay, I am convinced that if you like deep fried pickles, there is a special circle of hell reserved <laughs> just for people like you. Because no human being 
should enjoy deep fried <laughs> vinegar. It is an abomination. I always fry it up on the skillet of the stove and throw it like rice and everything. I throw like yeah, it's still questionable, it. mom. It is an abomination. Not the owl house guy. Ah, uh, there's another thing I love. Can this just be the I gush episode? It, it seems to be that, but uh, it's staying in man. here. There's so many things about creative things that I just adore. I love the Owl House so much. The Owl House? Yeah, the Owl House. I love it so much because it literally shits on traditional cartoons. And I love it. <laughs> love it! Boy, it's so good. Camilla, mother of the decade. <laughs> I love her. I love her. She would not be a widow if she was real. I'm sorry. That's my celebrity list. Camilla. And it's just, I, I want I want to coddle this woman and protect her and allow her to pass on everything she knows to a generation of children. Because she is an awesome, awesome parental figure in children's media. I could not agree with her more. Did you drive there with Anne's parents? Yeah, the Boon Choys from Amphibia are also, like, key super parents that I just adore. Like, what, as, as a parent, okay, I put myself in those situations. Like, what would happen? All right, I'm gonna ask you. Yeah. From your perspective of uh -huh. how I've been your parent. Yeah. Okay. How would, how do you think I would react if you showed up with three fucking aliens <laughs> for all intents and purposes? Okay. Uh -huh. You show up at the house after being gone. For months, you show up at the house with three aliens. Uh -huh. How do you think I would react? This, this alternate world you has alternate world you also seen Amphibia? No. Okay. Um. Hmm. Through through your experiences. Of being my child. Well, first of all, I'll be surprised you're even alive considering you get separated from us for like a day and. God, I don't know how I would react to you being gone for months. Yeah. Like missing gone. Like, cause I knew. I knew where you were when, like, we, we were apart for that month yeah. in between the moves. Like, I knew exactly where you were and what you were doing. And that you were safe. We literally called you every day. I know, and it still killed me. I hated it. It was the worst month of my life, man. I never. I don't know how I would. I don't know how I would react. Okay, but let's say, let's say I get through. I get through the initial shock of you being alive. Time to shake things up. Okay, because you're home. Yeah. Okay. And I tend to bounce off of resolved things fairly quickly. Yeah. So after you had explained where you had been, which would entail explaining what these three fucking aliens are. Okay. Uh -huh. And one of them is for all reasonable human estimations, a toddler. <laughs> That's building a fucking robot in my garage. We all have a garage. Besides the point. But they were cool with it. Yeah. They just, they were like, all right. Yeah. Sure. We'll make this work. And like, that's how parents should be. <laughs> Because home should never be a place you're afraid of. Yeah. That's like... 
probably the most important piece of children's media I've ever seen in my life. And that's a sad thing. Because <laughs> a lot of children's media is geared towards like, you know, get out there, make friends, be be the person you'd want to be friends with. Yeah. And I agree with that too. To an extent. Mm -hmm. Like, don't fake who you are for the privilege of being around someone. Yeah. Just be you and surround yourself with people who appreciate that. Yeah. Be the introvert that gets adopted by like 70 extroverts. And yeah, like, <laughs> extroverts, I don't know how you guys do it. Because I... Anyway, back, hang on, before we, before we get super off topic, I really want to, I really want to hear, I'm fishing. Yeah? I really want to hear how you think me as your dad would react to you showing up with three fucking aliens. How? I feel like you'd be the only one to be okay with it. Cause mom would be mom. Grand and Pappy would be. Yeah. <laughs> so like, I feel like you'd be the only adult in the house that would be an actual adult in the situation. Dodge this. As you only are. That. Wow. I'm so, I'm so filled with <laughs> pride that, uh, I'm having a hard time with wording. Hang on. I'm getting, I'm getting misty-eyed here. Wow, um... <laughs> suck it, nerds. I'm a good dad. Holy cow, we might need to pause the episode. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, did I actually start crying? Wow! <laughs> wow, Dad. Out of all the people to start crying, you were the last one I expected. Right? <laughs> it's so weird. There are, there are... <laughs> there are literal tears on my face. <laughs> that is so weird. <laughs> Meanwhile, on the other end of the room, Serena's over here licking her butt clean. Gross. <laughs> Dad's brain is just like, oh my god, we're appreciated. Um, Quick, respond. Shut down, boys. Cry. Yeah, yeah. My whole brain went, what do we do now? <laughs> it's like, I guess we'll cry. <laughs> oh my god, they got a compliment. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. I thought you were supposed to say off shucks. <laughs> no. Dad, I, you can't go southern on us. No, I just, I just realized, one, uh, I need a tissue. <laughs> we don't have those. Yeah, I know. So we're going to pause the episode. Oh, and two, I am, like, completely super out of MP. Because oh, I've yeah. just been flying through these battles. So, this the next bit of this dungeon is going to be fun. Anyway, we're gonna pause the episode. Pause timer. I'm working on it. I gotta go compose myself. I only have one hand, Dad. I gotta figure out how to get out of this. We're out of MP situation. Maybe you want some hair spray? What's this? Put the hand on. What's that? This is super problematic. Ah, interesting. I'm F, man. This is not good. And it's completely my fault. Yeah, I started getting sappy, and then suddenly I was like, oh, we're dying now. Yeah, yeah, that's that's exactly how that happened. Jeez, oh man. Yeah, well, we got the title for this episode. <laughs> Dad cries. Yep. After the episode, I'm just this is the, this is the episode where Dad cries. Boy, oh boy. Hey, 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 what's this? And you know what? What? I just want to say, I just want to put this out there in my voice. That is 100% fine. That you cried? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Dad cried on camera? Real like, life, not clickbait? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the title. 
<laughs> Seriously though, like dudes. Specifically my dudes. <laughs> it's okay. Like you're good. Let it out, man. It's fucking Yeah. It's about goddamn time. <laughs> And that, 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 well, I feel like we're, I feel like we're all of a sudden get, gonna get political because I brought up men's emotions, and that's not my goal here. I'm just saying, like, dudes, it's okay to feel shit, and like, it's it's okay to be around people who feel things. That's not. I don't even know what this means, but it doesn't, it doesn't make you less of a man. What defines man? <laughs> to, uh, to, to feel a thing, okay? <laughs> it makes you less of a human to, to deny feeling that thing than, than it does to actually feel the thing. So feel the thing. And it's fine. <laughs> Don't die. Don't take it out of context either. Oh, no. I healed my hair. Time to shake things. Mm -hmm. I was laughing. I hit my hair. Oh. Lord, I was so confused for a minute. Lamina died in the confusion. <laughs> hair is up in confusion. This is not going well. This whole episode is a disaster! <laughs> but no, you were mentioning men, and I was like, <laughs> I did the what defines man thing, and I remembered the, the featherless biped thing. Behold, a man. <laughs> yes. Then I got to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Thank you for the, the clarification. <laughs> like, you're not even having a serious talk at all. Yeah, I know, I don't, I don't want anybody to think that, uh, you were you were laughing at me. Cause that's not what was happening. Yeah, no. You're having a serious talk and I was being stupid. Right. Cause that's what we do. Yeah. We go from we go from stupid to serious in less time than we go from serious to stupid. Yeah. I am fucking lost. I have no so you've been going in circles. God, I hate this dungeon so much. Yeah, Serena I is do like, not like this place. She's staring for lonely at Jesus. <laughs> She can't have one, it's not snack time. It looks like, it's like so, she's yearning for the cheeses. Like a widower. Or a widow, I guess, in this case. It's a scientific fact. Somewhere, I can't say that. I remember reading somewhere, I can say that. Yeah. That cheese activates the same part of your brain that the drugs, cocaine, and heroin do. I have seen that, yeah. Yeah, you told me that. So, that means... Oh, no, she doesn't want to Same. <laughs> Dad! Dad! Dad, no! This is like the Diablo thing all over again! Why Vegeta? Why do you have 5'8 spiky hair pants? Ugh. Why Vegeta? I, lo I love this! You know, to be honest... You're literally Sonic. <laughs> This is also the one where dad comes out as a furry. Dad, no! Serena, get your head out of the chair! Good lord! Everything is gonna get the chaos! This is a disaster in every, every aspect of the word. What? The only thing that could happen that could be worse than this is if she jumps on the bed with all of her claws out. Are we a normal family? Sometimes, know. sometimes I question what that is. And then I'm like, you know what, who cares? We're happy. Yeah. A normal family is those rich modern families who are always smiling. Is it though? Yeah. I feel like those are like free or not in the kids. Yeah, I can't use that reference. Yeah, I haven't seen, yeah, I haven't listened to the funny stuff yet. Yeah, remember how I told you about the doctor with the bone apple teeth? Yeah. 
and he had he was teaching his kids biology, and they're like, they were playing with my heart to get to be and like growing and breathing obnoxiously. Right. Yeah, that's what I imagine. That, that's what when Ellie about the rich people with the, the poster smiles, the white people. That's that's what I imagine. All right. They're learning to be human. Pause the episode. I'm gonna look up a walkthrough because I'm a fucking idiot. A few moments later. All right, we're back. I think I found the right way to go. No, because see, I've already been here. Those fish just are open. This is the first floor. You went all the way backwards. <laughs> yeah, I guess we're not back yet. Are you kidding me? I did. No, we're not back yet. Fucking goddamn it! I hate this place so much. Eventually. Hey, hey, a new Jack. place! <laughs> Treasure I haven't found before! $92! Yeehaw! What if Team Four Star noticed us? Don't get other hopes up. Notice me, Senpai! Dad, Dad please, please no. no. I will. I see that artistry recently. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we let you two, like, anywhere? <laughs> to be fair, I try to resist going places. That would acknowledge my exist. That would that would reveal my existence to the world. Okay. Mom's just trying to keep up their humor. No. In the context of what I was talking about, one of the people that were watching the stream. I. What? Oh, okay. One eternity later. Oh, hey, look! I think I just found the exit. Oh, woo! Cool. Okay. Sorry, so Riska. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, speaking of our, we never got to get to the how do we think of Riska thing. You said you were on your friends, so we can have moved on from that topic. Wasn't that like last episode? It was, yeah. <laughs> but it's like Ooh. it's been like an hour for us. Yeah, it's been like an hour for us. It's been a day for you guys. Did you still at hear least? The, uh, at least, yeah. God, I have no idea when this episode's gonna come out. Did you guys still want to hear the Riska story? I don't know. Leave a comment. Yeah. We read them. Or we'll start if, Maybe. We, if we're getting them by this point. Who knows? Anyway, uh, next yeah. episode, I'm going to go outside. We're going to see Neo Vein. Woohoo! We will see you guys then. I yep. really have to pee. Yes, yeah, so do I. Super bad. <laughs> so, all right. Bye! Yep. Wow. I did not expect that. See that? The kid just made me cry. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, and in front of and in front of all five people who are gonna watch this video. Yeah. Jesus Christ. 